back at another part of this competition, the men's pro modified slalom. Dave Stanfield asked the ripper to explain the technique. Okay, how do you do it? You change direction from uh, one buoy to another, but you've got a lot of speed coming into it. Yeah, I do what's called a body turn on my, my left-hand turns where I throw my whole body in the water, and that kind of acts as brakes and helps to turn the ski. Best of luck. Thanks. Well, our first matchup will be Larry Rippenkroger, who is one of the top slalom racers in jet ski racing. He'll be up against Dave Gordon, also one of the top slalom experts, as evidenced by his earlier victory in the pro Superstock slalom. Mike, no matter what event these guys are competing in, when there's a David Gordon and Larry Rippenkroger matchup, you see jet ski competition at its best. These two are hard-running, all-out riders, and both of them have racing styles that continuously keep them on the edge. Rippenkroger at the top of your screen, Gordon at the bottom. They round the turnaround boy almost dead even. The Ripper slips up for just a split second, just enough of a mistake to give Gordon the lead, a slim lead, but he is ahead. As I said before, Mike, these guys race on the edge of disaster. And even a little bobble like Ribbon Kroger's can be significant when you're racing against Gordon. Sure enough, Gordon takes the heat by a hair's breadth, and it's enough to knock Ribbon Kroger out of the title shot. Still, it was a great heat. It's always exciting when these two go head on. Here comes another matchup featuring a defending champion. He was in this one, Rocket Ron Mello, at the bottom of your screen from Castro Valley, California. Last year's defending pro superstock slalom champion. He's up against Mike the Hammer Castrucci from Byron, California. As we mentioned at the top of the show, Mike, the pro modified slalom title was up for grabs. Last year's defending champion, Brian Bendix, having been eliminated in the qualifying heats. And it's Mello who has the lead, trying to salvage a title in the pro modified. Dave Gordon having taken away his pro superstock slalom title earlier today. And Mike, Ron Mello will go on to defeat Mike Castrucci this time, but Ron was to be denied a title after all. His combined times for the two heats were not fast enough to put him ahead of either Gordon or Ripping Kroger. So, Rocket Ron Mello becomes another casualty of what seems to be an epidemic today, defending champions being dethroned. You know, this whole event so far has been full of surprises, but one of the most pleasant surprises has been the emergence of a new star on the jet ski horizon. This man, Scott Watkins from Hollywood, Florida. Well, we saw him play second in the freestyle competition earlier today, and now he finds himself facing Dave Gordon in the pro modified slalom final. Here we go. Scott Watkins of Hollywood, Florida, Dave Gordon of Wayland, Massachusetts. Two East Coast riders, one the world points champion, the other a relative newcomer, and both going all out. Watkins is at the top of your screen, Gordon at the bottom. Both guys really have a handful of throttle cruising through the slalom course. If you watch closely, though, David Gordon actually entered the course sooner than did Scott Watkins. The green flag only means that the course is clear for the start of the race. The time actually begins when the nose of the ski enters through the two entry gates. So it looks like Gordon is ahead. However, I believe Scott Watkins actually is going faster, Mike. By the way, he won the Pro 550 slalom earlier. Well, as you'd almost expect, Gordon takes the first heat, but not by much. And as the second heat got underway, it was apparent that the new kid on the block was not to be dismissed lightly. Mike, now Gordon is at the top of your screen and Watkins is at the bottom. The same thing happened as in the first heat. Gordon got off to a very good start and it appears that he's ahead. But in actual time, I believe Scott Watkins is running quicker. Mark, there's something I want to point out to the viewers. As they come into a buoy, watch how they lower their shoulder and then throttle out of a turn. Full power, they want to hit the straight line as quick as they can. It's all guts and glory at this point, and it was extremely close. But from all outward appearances, it looks as though Flash Gordon has pulled it off. And if you don't believe that this is a team sport, look at this. Dave receiving a hug from his father after a fine slalom performance. But when the final results were announced, it was Scott Watkins who came out on top with a surprising upset. Mike, you know, even though it appeared that Gordon had finished ahead in the heats, it was actually Scott Watkins who spent less time out there on the course. Remember, Gordon did start through the entry gates earlier than Watkins. And in the final tally, Scott Watkins' overall time was the best, edging out Dave Gordon, who finished second. Rippin Kroger grabs a third with Ron Mello and Tom Lathrop taking fourth and fifth. Let's go down to Dave Stanfield. He's with the winner.